Good evening. You're watching the main news on HKIBC. I'm Edna Zer. And I'm Isabel Wong. Here are tonight's top stories. Chief Executive says Greater Bay Area Initiative Blueprint to be reviewed by Beijing in the next few days. Transport Department announces slip road connecting Central Wan Chai Bypass to Romsey Street flyover will be complete soon. And ahead of budget announcement, Taxation Institute suggests waiving stamp duty for first-time home buyers. The official blueprint of the Greater Bay Area Initiative will be unveiled soon by the central government. Chief Executive Carrie Lam confirmed today. Speaking ahead of her weekly Executive Council meeting, Lam also responded to lawmaker Regina Ip's call to cap store rent increases in shopping centres managed by the Link REIT, Rani Chan reports. It has been over three years since the Greater Bay Area Initiative was first mentioned in the National Development Plan. Hong Kong, Macau and nine cities in Guangdong will be included in the area. The plan is to develop a technology innovation hub similar to Silicon Valley in the U.S. I'm very pleased to say that this outline development plan for the Greater Bay Area uh, will be formally promulgated by the central uh, authorities within days. A symposium on the Greater Bay Area will be held on the 21st of February in Hong Kong, she said. Senior officials from the National Development and Reform Commission are expected to attend. The chief executive stressed for cooperation between Greater Bay Area cities. The benefits of the Greater Bay Area to Hong Kong and also to Guangdong and Macau are multiple uh, because uh, we are all very committed to building a Bay Area economy which is open, which is um, international, uh, which will uh, consist of an international innovation and technology hub which has the personal support of uh, President Xi Jinping himself. The nine cities in the Guangdong province and Hong Kong and Macau should each of us leverage on our strengths and advantages uh, in order to create a much bigger economy. So anything that is just um, a fierce competition should be avoided as far as possible. She added that development of the Bay Area would not undermine the one country, two systems principle. On a separate note, Lam also responded to New People's Party leader and executive councillor Regina Ip's controversial proposal to cap rent increases for stores in shopping centres managed by the Link REIT. The Link is the largest real estate investment trust in Asia. It took over operation of government-owned shopping centres and markets in 2005 and has long been accused of pushing up rents and driving out small businesses. While she was also very concerned by the way the link ran its business, Lam believed it would be very unusual to use legislation to regulate business activities. I can fully understand why some uh, legislative council members have contemplated to use another instrument, and that is a, a legislative uh, a means uh, through a private member's bill. But using legislation to regulate uh, business activities, after all, is very unusual. So I'm sure uh, we need to look at it in detail, and um, the members of a legislative council will also need to examine and study this uh, idea very uh, thoroughly before we go down this route. Meanwhile, it has been reported that over 10,000 key documents related to the construction of a section of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge were missing or submitted to authorities months later. Lam said the highways director had already appointed an independence consultant to review the construction work and was assured there were no safety issues with the mega structure. She had also asked the transport secretary and highways director to thoroughly review the monitoring of infrastructure projects and review the findings to the public. Riley Chen, HKIBC. The slip road connecting the recently opened Central Wan Chai Bypass to the Ramsey Street flyover in Sheng Wan is almost complete, according to the Transport Department. The department didn't provide an opening date, but workers could be seen erecting road signs and markings on the slip road today. Sarah Wong reports. The highly anticipated and expensive Central Wan Chai Bypass opened to traffic around three weeks ago and has reduced travel time between Central and Island Eastern Corridor to less than five minutes. This was a significant improvement from the half an hour it used to take motorists before. However, the $36 billion project is not complete. 
while the eastbound section of the bypass is operating smoothly. Motorists headed towards Western District are hit with traffic congestion at Connaught Road Central outside the central exit. But the irritating situation may soon come to an end. The Transport Department has submitted a document to the Central and Western District Council saying that the slip road connecting the bypass to the Ramsey Road flyover would be completed soon. However, the department did not announce an opening date. Workers could be seen preparing road signs and markings on the slip road today. A road sign will be erected at the bypass's North Point entrance to advise westbound motorists to get in the left lane if they wish to go to Central by way of Gloucester Road or switch to the right lane and take the bypass. Motorists travel in the middle lane or fast lane of the bypass will continue to Western District after exiting at Central. The government will update their all-in-one traffic mobile app Hong Kong e-mobility with the latest route map. Sarah Wong, HKIBC. The Taxation Institute has made a number of suggestions on how the government could make use of the anticipated budget surplus, which was expected to be unveiled by Financial Secretary Paul Chan on February 27th. One suggestion was to waive stamp duty for first-time home buyers. Here's Riley Chan. Financial Secretary Paul Chan is scheduled to deliver his 2019 to 2020 budget speech at the Legislative Council on the 27th of February. Many residents, politicians and groups have expressed their own ideas on how the government should spend the expected surplus that will be reviewed by Chen. The Taxation Institute made its own suggestions today. It anticipated a significant drop in this year's surplus, which it estimated to be about $50 billion, caused mainly by a fall in transaction volume in the property and share markets. The